A disturbing report details decades of sexual abuse and misconduct by teachers and staff at Catlin Gables School. And some of these incidents date back all the way to the mid 60s. Our Jacqueline Abad is digging deeper into the report is live near the school and this just stunned a lot of people today. Jacqueline. Yeah, Jennifer and Jeff. Well, this is the 16 page report. The reported misconduct ranges from students feeling uncomfortable to sexual abuse. It happened between the mid 60s to 2016 and none of the teachers or staff that are mentioned in this report. They no longer work here. Catlin Gable is known as a prestigious private school in Oregon, but history of a dark past has come to light. The report details sex abuse by six named teachers and three unnamed employees, as well as a long list of other allegations of misconduct. The teachers are accused of inappropriate touching, groping, some as young as elementary school. Other teachers are accused of having sex with students, one of them in middle school at the time. One of the named teachers is Deontay Huff. He was a PE teacher and coached middle school volleyball. He was convicted of sexual abuse in 2013 after he had sexual contact with a student at his apartment. The school is now working to provide counseling for survivors. There's also the Sexual Assault Resource Center in Beaverton. It's never too late to come forward. Uh, people need support when they're going through trauma, and that's true whether the trauma happened five minutes ago or five decades ago. Sark has counseling services, support groups, and a hotline with mental health professionals, all free of charge. The first and most important thing for people to understand is that they're not alone. This is something that too many people in our society experience, and there are a lot of resources and support out there for them. The Board of Trustees sent a letter to survivors and the school community, stating in part, we take responsibility for the harm done to students in the past and the failures of those whose responsibility it was to prevent this harm. We are committed to supporting survivors in ways they deem most helpful to them. And in doing so, we hope to rebuild everyone's trust in Catlin Gable, as well as demonstrate our ability to create an environment where students are safe and secure. The school has established strict guidelines related to student and adult interactions. Um, the school has made recent changes in years past. They allow students to report abuse and they have been teaching them about consent. Reporting live in Washington County, Jacqueline Abad, Point Six News. Thanks, Jacqueline. The first